Hi folks. Uh, I didn't want you to think I was slacking off on building this. So I'm making this update to show you what I've accomplished here. And I took a, an old bicycle and I, I cut this portion off where the, where the sprocket uh, fits onto the fittings inside here, the ball bearings and stuff, and I just mounted it on this board, and also I have the wheel as well, and then I have it hooked up to a drive shaft that I, I made, or I'm in the process of making, and the drive shaft is causing me some problems, but uh, I wanted to give you an idea of what we can expect from this thing. Now, it's just 24 volts right now, so I'm going to turn it on and we're going to see what we get. get using 24 volts and my, my little black and decker motor controller. Now I, I kept the derailleur on there in order to um, keep the, the chain tight and I wanted to keep the freewheel on there instead of uh, having it welded onto the axle. Uh, I wanted to have it with that freewheel. I, I think it'll be more energy efficient if that freewheel is still on there. So uh, this is another view from the from the back, and you can just have a look at it this way. Now, the problem that I've been having has to do with this the drive shaft. Uh, my idea, I actually have a uh, half inch drive uh, socket, like from a, a socket wrench set, a half inch drive socket in there, deep, uh, deep socket. And uh, it's just press fit in there right now. And that's all well and good, but uh, it won't be good enough if I'm trying to actually move the, the bicycle with any weight on it. And originally, I thought I could drill a hole and then uh, drill into that socket, but the steel is too hard. I can't do it. Uh, I tried for a while, and without special equipment, uh, a slow RPM drill uh, drill press plus a special drill bit, uh, you basically can't drill into uh, a socket. So that's not working. So what I need to do probably is to weld this in place and I don't know how to weld and I don't have a welder. I talked to my neighbor though and he thinks he can do it. He's willing to help me, but I gotta help him too. He doesn't have a welding mask. He says he'll do it if I buy him a welding mask. So I might have to do that. But uh, that's really the update. And I'm making progress. It, gotta take it one step at a time. Uh, and a lot of the stuff you see here too is temporary. Uh, I wouldn't uh, permanently mount the motor on wood. I'd have to get steel brackets, and uh, some of this is going to have to be wood uh, because, once again, I don't have a welder. 
and I can't impose on my neighbor to spend hours and hours helping me engineer this thing. But, but anyway, I'm making progress, and I thought you might want to know, so that's about it. Thanks for watching.